Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to a new video and welcome to an extreme all day clean with me. I've had things piling up around here. I have so much to do today. So I hope you find this video motivating. I certainly hope it gets you up and moving if you need to get stuff done too. Um, I'm going to keep this intro short and just get to work guys. I have the most to do. So I hope you enjoy this. Please like and subscribe if you do. I'll catch up with you in the voiceover. Now let's go. All right, now who is ready for some intense cleaning? We are doing the most today, so I hope that you are ready. And this actually turned into a two-part video, so of course this is part one. I have almost 40 minutes of cleaning the upstairs for you, so I was like, all right, we're gonna split this up and do a part one of upstairs, part two of downstairs. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Alexandra, and I have Chad, my husband, and then Forry Boy, Forrest, my my little baby who is almost three but I'm still calling him my baby that is our family and we just moved from Michigan to Florida so a lot is going on you guys will see some areas are decorated some areas are not it is definitely a work in progress and I love sharing all of it with you guys so I am starting to throw in some laundry now whenever I do these all-day cleaning sessions I just like to start with laundry flip it throughout the day fold it throughout the day or fold it at the end. If I'm gonna be working all day on the house, I might as well have the laundry going too. And now I'm just doing a quick pickup of this loft area. I've been trying to call this the loft because a lot of you are telling me that I should and I think it makes sense. It is essentially an upstairs living room with like that open wall. So let's start calling it the loft guys. I was just picking up some toys and kind of assessing the situation for once we get into that area. And now I'm cleaning Forrest's bathroom and I have a lot to do in here. I need to do the toilets. We end up doing three bathrooms in this video. So when I told you that we are doing the most I meant it. I'm just gathering up his products that are on the vanity top that can go underneath in his little storage caddy and then I'm going to spray the sink and the tub and we will go from there. One tip that is very important to know as far as cleaning is not to let your cleaning products soak for like ever and ever. You can give them a couple minutes, but one thing I used to do is like spray the shower, walk away from it, get sidetracked, come back like 30 minutes later, three hours later, whatever it ended up being. And you don't wanna do that because it can eat away at the enamel on your sink, on your tub, on your shower, whatever it is. So just be careful about that. That's something I have really been trying to keep in mind. And I have noticed that since we have harder water now, it almost seems like our stoppers in the tubs are starting to get harder to use, like to unspin. And I know that's just like the buildup of the hard water and the soap and all of that. So I do let the product sit in the drains for a couple of minutes to get rid of that. I will scrub it with my microfiber towel and then I will make it good as new. And with Forest Tub, I'm really just focusing on the actual tub since he doesn't shower on his own yet. So I'm just gonna wipe down the walls to make sure they're clean. Still need to get a shower bar in here. I have like a huge list of things I'm gonna order this weekend while there are all of the sales from the holiday and two of those are on it one for this one and then one for the guest room because we just have a tension rod in that bathroom every time you walk away from me I want you how could I want you more when did I lose my perspective 
And I'm still using this all-purpose cleaner by Clorox that I've shared in the last few videos. I've really been liking it. And then I'm using a fresh brush starter kit by Scrubbing Bubbles. I have shared that so much in the last couple months. I used it at the old house and really like it. And I just always really like the toilet wands with the disposable heads because it's easy, it's sanitary, and this one works so, so well. Sometimes if you're fast, then you can use it on more than one toilet, but I just used one brush head per toilet in today's video. Figured I'm just gonna do it well, and I didn't feel like running around and trying to, you know, avoid the drips. So gross, but that's real life. So yeah, I just did one per toilet. Totally recommend that. And I still am using that all-purpose cleaner on the toilet that I used on the vanity and on the tub. And here's what this wand looks like up close if you're curious. Since it was brand new, I figured it was the perfect time to show you. And that is just about good to go. All I need to do is wipe down Forrest's seat, and then I'm going to set out his books and a little hand soap in here, wash my hands. Sometimes I can't film it, but I always, of course, wash my hands after I clean a toilet, especially since I don't have any gloves on. Honestly, even if I have the gloves on, I still feel like I need to wash my hands, so I'm like, whatever, it's my own family. I will just hurry through this and wash my hands the same as I would if I was wearing gloves. One of you guys said to me, like, once you're mom nothing is as gross to you as it once was and I thought that was so funny because it's so true so we're almost done in here I'm just grabbing my products and putting those in the guest bath and then I'm going to flip this laundry and fold some of it real quick And we are well on our way with this laundry situation. We've only lived here like a little over a month, so you know, everything is relatively new and our appliances are new, this washer and dryer. We opted for the, oh gosh, what do you call it? The oversized load. It's like slightly larger than the average size washer and dryer and I absolutely love them. Honestly, I don't even think they look any larger. Um, they're certainly not that much larger than the standard size washer and dryer. Absolutely obsessed. I feel like you can throw so much stuff in them. Like it just keeps going and going and going. So I honestly feel like I'm doing almost half the loads I was doing before. Just wanted to throw that out there. It makes my life easier. And if that's the case, hopefully it will make one of your lives easier too. So yes, let's just whip through this laundry super duper quick and get it over and get it over with so we can move on to some other projects. Um, I do hang almost all of Forest clothes. I find with just like smaller things, it's easier having it hung up and faster for me to take care of. Still fold a lot of my clothes. I really hang 
for Chad and I, like, I hang my dresses, I hang his nice shirts, um, and that's pretty much it. I feel like I fold a lot of our clothes, but little kid clothes, I just like to hang it. So now we're on to Forrest's room, and I wanted to make it a little more homey in here and unbox the rest of his things. There were two boxes in his closet. I wanted to be able to walk in his closet without any boxes. So some of those things in the boxes are his clothing and baby blankets and just like the keepsakes. And then some of it are items I'm going to use to redecorate his shelves. We do have a full-size mattress on the floor in here now. We are slowly transitioning it to a big boy bed. And I'm glad we did it this way, even though like we're switching so soon after moving because I feel like he really recognized that this was his room when he saw all of his furniture. If it was like a big boy bed without the crib, I think it would have been a little bit harder. So sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. I still am looking for the actual bed we're going to do. And I have the stuffed animals on the top shelf and putting books in the middle. I really try and keep his room pretty simple. We have toys downstairs and I don't like a ton of toys in here because sleep is important it's hard enough as it is to get him to sleep I don't need any distractions so yeah we really don't even play in here it's just like relax unwind sleep and that's just about it Alright, so those shelves are good to go for now. I'm emptying one of the last boxes that are in here. A lot of this is just like baby blankets and hats and things that don't fit Forrest anymore that I still wanted to keep. And I have plenty of room on the top shelf in his closet, so that's where I'm adding those items. I have all of his stuff hung up that we were doing earlier, folding earlier, and I can finally walk into this closet. So that is exactly what I wanted to achieve in there. It feels good to not have any more boxes in here. And I need to think of a new theme for this room and like what we're gonna do on the walls and all of that. I just have so many projects to do, it's overwhelming thinking about everything everything but I will get there I'm changing the sheet on his crib and then I'm going to pull all the sheets and bedding off of that mattress on the floor and get that in the wash I did all of our sheets today and all of the bedding so I don't know I just get in those moods like if I'm gonna do everything I'm gonna do everything everything and that's exactly what I did
The last thing I'm doing in Fory Boy's room is vacuuming the floor, vacuuming under the crib, under where the mattress is, putting that back. And then once all of this is done in here, we're going to move on to the guest room and I will tackle that bathroom real quick, which isn't too bad. It hasn't been used. Um, and I recently did a decorate with me in that guest room. That is actually the last video I posted. So if you want to see that room come together, then definitely check out that video. I really, really love how it's turned out. There are still some things I need to do like a light and some wall art but I got a ton of work done in that video and I have links for everything in here um, in that video's description box too so yes just don't miss it I really liked it I sprayed the tub and now I'm going to do the vanity and work my way back over to that shower and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it I got it and a quick wipe down of that tub and shower is all it needed i also am doing the same thing on the toilet i'm not going to scrub it because again it hasn't been used it's looking pretty good i just wanted to wipe it down get the dust off and maintain in this space i want to keep it clean and in great condition for our friends and family that stay with us and then i won't spend too much more time in here i'm just replacing the toilet paper i'll grab all of those products get them out of here vacuum freshen it up and it will be good to go and we can move on to so many more things we still have to do my closet i show a before and after of it that closet right there i do need to get some stuff out of it's pretty full of our stuff and i want it at least like half empty for our guests to put their things so i might get some shelves in there to store my decor i think that'd be kind of fun to share While I had that vacuum out, I realized I never vacuumed in this bathroom, so we're going to get to that right now. I'll vacuum a little hallway area, and then we're going to start working on the loft, wipe it down, vacuum it, vacuum out the couch. I will show you in a minute. Forrest basically had the crumbs of an entire mini muffin in that couch. I try not to be like such a stickler with only eating in the kitchen, but sometimes I just like really cringe seeing the crumbs here there and everywhere i do my best to avoid them and stop them but with a toddler there's only so much you can do you have to pick your battles so i vacuum out those couches quite often And this is a multi-surface spray by The Laundress. I bought this on Amazon. They have a lot of like fancy products for your house, which I've never had anything like that. So I was very excited to find it. And I really like it. It smells amazing. I will try and link it below. I'll try and get a lot better at linking things in general in my videos in the description box for you, especially in these cleaning ones. So yes, I'm just vacuuming the top of the couch. I focus a lot more on this one because it's the one that Forrest likes to sit on. 
on and I wish you could see how many crumbs are in here I have a shot for you right here if you're working with me it is even worse than it looks on camera believe me I was just like stunned when I open this because I do this I would say at the most it's every other week like quite frequently and wow does it add up with those mini muffins he's obsessed right now it's like a mini muffin factory in here so let's take care of it and pretend it never happened for our sanity I'm vacuuming both sides of the cushions just trying to get this as clean as possible The couches are vacuumed out, I put the pillows back, a little throw blanket out, and now we're going to head into my bathroom because I had some batteries sitting out that I was going to put in this trash can. I have seen so many people share this, it's from Amazon, and guys, I am so obsessed with this, I will link it. So it's basically a bathroom trash can as you can see, and it has a motion sensor on the top so it will open automatically, it has a scalloped edge which I'm obsessed with, the gold detail, and then if you've been watching my cleaning videos for years, you know this is like the first time I've ever had real trash bags in my trash cans. I always just use like a Target bag, a Walmart bag, whatever. I cannot bring myself to buy them when you get free plastic bags that you can repurpose. So look at this. It's just so cool. I kind of want to get a few more, like one for the guest room I think would be really nice. I just, it's the little things, I guess this is adulthood, being obsessed about a trash can, but it is so pretty and so convenient. So before I tackle that bathroom, I just wanted to vacuum out here in this loft area real quick since we wiped down the table, we vacuumed the couches, put everything back. This is like the final thing that I didn't do. So let's take care of this real quick and then we'll head into that bathroom. I forgot I was going to quickly tackle another load of laundry and then I also am going to show you guys a before and after of this laundry room and of my closet so you can see how much I accomplished for an hour of charging the battery for my camera. I like went super speed and I organized my closet and I refolded things and I just tried to make it look a lot better and function a lot better. And I do house update videos every couple of weeks when I have things to share. So if you're new here, definitely check those out if you're interested in like house stuff in general. We just had someone back out um, so they could measure for either shades or shutters. I've told you I think we're doing shutters. I still think that. I just want to see some options on paper. Um, it should have been ordered by now. They should have been ordered like two weeks ago, but they lost our paperwork and couldn't find it. So they had to come back and remeasure and just like start from scratch. House projects are so fun and so exciting, but there's always like so many hiccups and delays, which are frustrating, but that is real life. So yes, I'm just hanging up a bunch of forest t-shirts, folding a bunch of things and trying to get through this as quick as possible.
change your mind for love or pity let me know not now now cause your love made me made me go and just about everything we just folded has been put away. Now I'm showing you a before of the laundry room. So I have a dryer full of clothing. This is the before what's kind of like left over on the table. This is the before of my closet. I will do a closet system eventually, but for now we're just trying to make this work. I really wanted to tackle those boxes in there. And then here is the after of the laundry room. So everything that was just in the dryer is taken care of. Still laundry going but it's very clean in there and then this is the after of my closet I hope it looks as significant on camera um, as it is in person I feel like it doesn't look drastically different but you guys like all the shelves are way more neat and organized all the clothing is sectioned better there are still boxes in there but again I spent like an hour on that and I really wanted to move on and do some other projects so at least a significant amount of progress is better than no progress I will get to those sooner than later I certainly certainly hope and now I'm going to quickly tackle the shower and tub if you've been watching the recent clean with me's then you know I'm obsessed with keeping the shower and tub clean so just a real quick spray in both of these and reorganize to refresh them wipe them down and then we can move on to the vanity area and I wanted to change some things over there so we will get into that soon How is that even possible? And my go-to in here, as you know, is that Clorox multi-surface spray and my microfiber towel. I really want to like do an aesthetic as much as possible in this house, just like have things very coordinating, if you know what I mean. So I did not buy these um, towels. That was Chad. He bought me like a random pack at Walmart, which I certainly appreciate, but it's like red and yellow and like all these colors that I wouldn't buy. So I need to get some more and the neutral tones or like the pink and white and all of that. That's on my never ending list, you guys. Just wiping down the walls in here, wiping down the floor I was showing you. I accidentally turned the faucet on, the shower head, not once but twice and got drenched on my back. And I've never done that any other time I've cleaned the shower, but I was just going so fast trying to get the entire upstairs done that I kept knocking into the handle there, putting all of my products back in here. And I also just bought a squeegee for this shower from Amazon. Again, I will link it, it's really pretty. I I love it. I think it was only $13. Um, and we're going to put that up together in just a second after I get this tub area wiped down. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in close to me? I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. And we're almost done in this tub, just doing the last few wipes and rinses of everything to make sure all of those cleaning products are washed off and it's good to go. I also gathered up all of the toys and put those back in Forrest's bathroom. He loves to take a bath in here and he does a lot, but I also try and do some of his baths in his own tub. That way this doesn't turn into like the toy land that it doesn't need to be. So now let's hang up this squeegee. It has like a little sticky back for the holder. I just held it for a couple of seconds probably like 10 to 15 is it and then I put the handle on there the squeegee on there and it was good to go I've used it a couple times since filming this and it's worked great I think it's sleek and I love that the end on it is white instead of black so love that highly recommend I'll be sure to link it and I love that it matches all the rest of like the hardware in here now let's 
tackle and deal with this vanity. I always end up with so much stuff on my vanity. So a lot of this will be put away underneath in the doors and the drawers and then that basket with the brush on it in the middle. I decided I will use that for my makeup brushes. I really need to get like a little storage thing that can go between the vanity and the tub. There's kind of like an empty space right there, but I don't want it to be a dusty situation. I feel like that would just attract dust. So, but I'm leaning towards getting a narrow organizer to put right there for any excess products. I cannot fit in my vanity so the top can just be sleek and nice and clean. It's already looking so much better. I'm just continuing to do some last minute organizing before I wipe down the entire vanity top, wipe down the sinks, rinse them, and just make it super duper clean over here. And what do you guys think about like the entire wall mirrors like we have above this vanity? I was so close to telling the builders not to put up any of the mirrors so I could get like really fun ones from home goods. But with everything else that goes with moving, I was like, okay, well, what if I don't find the right one for a couple of months or whatever? We'll just have them put it up. So I don't know. I see some bathrooms where I think it looks really nice and then some other bathrooms where I don't love it. I might do like something taller in the middle to split it up. Just let me know if you have any ideas regarding that. So, so, so much better over here. The vanity's looking great. I have my makeup side, the flowers in the middle that still need a tray, a smaller tray on the opposite side with our Q-tips, a little hand lotion, and then a small pink cup to put our accessories. Well, I guess they're my accessories. Um, at the end of the day, like any necklaces, earrings, or rings I was wearing. And the last thing I need to do in here, aside from the floors, is this toilet, our last toilet of the video. Believe it or not, you guys, I was not looking for Forward to it but I was very much looking forward to having it done And if you are working with me, pat yourself on the back because you have been cleaning for over a half hour now. I'm just finishing up in here with that vacuuming, getting all of my hair off the floor. I always tell you guys, I shed like crazy and my hair is all over the place in this bathroom, especially after I blow dry it. So I'm just doing everything in here. I'm doing the rug. I'm not washing that or what do you call that? The bath mat because I just washed it very recently. So that is good to go. And then I will also vacuum in my closet area. Have not done that in a while, I realized. And then I'm going to go in my bedroom and pull all the bedding off of it. I told you I did all of our bedding. You saw me do forests. You saw me do that floor bed, but you have not not seen me do our bed because it's taken me this long to get to it. The laundry situation is under control to where I can throw that in and not just throw it on the floor. So let's take all of this off right now. And this is random, but if any of you guys have a recommendation for a duvet insert, like a down insert that's really light and fluffy, please let me know. I'm like dying to have the bed how so many of you know I like it to be. I just haven't found um, an insert that isn't really warm. Everything that we've had for bedding our whole life until now has been for like the winters in Michigan and the snow and how it's freezing and cold. And here we don't have to worry about that. So all of the bedding I'm buying now is like light and thin and airy. Would absolutely love your recommendations if you have any. Make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. me down, don't you know I get up? Yeah, baby, I will fight. No, there ain't nothing stopping me. I'm bulletproof, I won't fall. I'm bulletproof, go on and shoot me down. I will always get up again. You're looking 
looking at me so cold Get over yourself, are you for real? The bedding is in, so I'm back to my bedroom to wipe down our nightstands and dust them. And I showed you guys a close-up just a second ago of this multi-surface spray from the laundress. I believe they're most known for a laundry detergent that's like fancy and kind of pricey so people only really use it for their bedding if you've tried that please let me know if it's worth it I'm like super curious to try it um, so yes just wiping down the nightstands I like to dust those all the time just because you know you sleep right next to them you don't want to be sleeping in a dusty area so those are good to go I wrapped up some of our cords and now I'm going to quickly vacuum this whole room there's so many things I want to do in here you guys I know it's gonna take time but I can just like as I look at it super plain I can see the end goal and I just I hope I can make some serious progress soon because I need it I need a dresser I need a big mirror I need a cool rug I need the walls painted I just like need all the things so I'm gonna try and start on at least some of those projects really soon I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my extreme clean with me. Please like and subscribe if you did. I have recent videos and more down below. And I will see you right here in a couple days in part two. Bye.